Before I bring the message today, I'd like to ask you to do a craft for me or with me. Uh, you'll need some green paper or just some white paper and a green marker, a green Sharpie. These are the Sharpies that I used, but I also had some green paper. And we're going to make a palm branch. So the easiest way is if you have construction paper is to take a piece of green paper and draw your palm branch and you can put some stem like things on it and then you're going to cut it to make it look like palm branches. Now if you don't have any green paper at home, you can take a piece of typewriter paper and draw your pattern. And I didn't do a very good job of coloring it in, but I wanted you to get the idea. I colored it in, and I colored it in a whole lot on this one because this is the one I'm going to cut out. And so we'll cut it out. And then there's two ways that you can, can put the palm branches on. I like to do it the way to make it symmetrical, which means the same. So after I cut it, I'm going to fold it down the middle, just like this, All right? and then I'm just going to make my cuts so that it makes the palm branches. Now you have to understand I'm doing this very quickly, and so it's not going to be my best work, but it's a palm branch. There you go. So you'll need to have your palm branch to wave when we get to that part of the story this morning. I'm talking to you from the Little Kids Adventure Bible. And we're going to start with the story of Mary pouring perfume on Jesus. This comes from John 12, chapter 12. It was six days before the Passover feast. Jesus arrived at Bethany, where Lazarus lived. And now if you'll remember, Lazarus is the good friend of Jesus that he brought back to life. He raised him from the dead. A dinner was given at Bethany to honor Jesus. Martha served the food, and Lazarus was there with the other friends. Mary took about a pint of pure nard, and nard is a very expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet, and then she wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the sweet smell of the perfume. And she did that to show her love for Jesus. But Judas Iscariot did not like what Mary did. He was one of Jesus' disciples. Later, he was going to hand Jesus over to his enemies. Je Judas said to Jesus, Why wasn't this perfume sold? Why wasn't the money given to the poor? It's worth a year's pay. He didn't say this because he really cared about the poor people. He said it because he was a thief. Judas was in charge of the money bag, and he used to help himself to the money in the money bag whenever he wanted to. Jesus said to him, Leave Mary alone. The perfume was meant for me for the day I am buried. You will always have the poor among you, but you won't always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there, so they came out to see. They wanted to see Jesus, but they also wanted to see Lazarus because they had heard that Jesus had brought him back to life. Now it was time for Jesus to leave and enter Jerusalem. They approached Jerusalem, and he came to a place called Bethpage. It was on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead of them into Jerusalem. Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey, the colt of a donkey, tied up. No one has ever ridden it. Untie it and bring it here. Someone may ask you, why are you untying it? And if they do, say, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead and went, and they found the donkey, just as the Lord had said. It was there, just as Jesus told them. They were untying the colt when its owner came out, and the owner said, Why are you untying this colt? And they replied, The Lord needs it. And so he let them take the colt. Then the disciples brought the colt to Jesus. They threw their coats on the young donkey and put Jesus on it. And as he went along, people spread their coats on the road. 
they were celebrating because they were thinking that Jesus was going to come into Jerusalem and was going to save them and rescue them from the Roman tyranny or the Roman rulers who were not very nice people. The people didn't quite understand what was going on. But here's where you need your palm branch. As Jesus entered Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover, the people were so excited that they waved their palm branches and they put down their coats and made like a red carpet for Jesus to walk on, to, to ride on, to come into Jerusalem. Now, there's lots of things that happened that week um, that we want to make sure we remember and celebrate during this Holy Week time. So I have put up on the church's website a Holy Week devotional for families, and it takes you through each day of the week and the events that uh, occurred after Jesus went into Jerusalem leading up to the crucifixion. I also have some worksheets that I'm going to put on the website for you. One is this one about finding things in the picture, and it's a color picture. And then this is an alphabet find the alphabet and when you do you're going to make a picture and I bet you can already tell it's a palm branch. Boys and girls let's pray before we close. Heavenly Father thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son to die on the cross for us and rise again on Easter Sunday. Lord let us remember each of the special events that occurred during Holy Week and Lord let them draw us closer to you. In your son's precious name we pray. Amen. Love you. See you soon.